Welcome to Joya's Farm. My name is Emily. In this video, you're going to learn all about incubators and chicks. Hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Maddie, and in this video, we are going to be talking about hatching chicks. So right next to me here, I have an incubator. And an incubator is a machine that creates the perfect conditions to successfully hatch all of your eggs. This specific incubator is called a Hova Bader Egg Incubator. And it can hold up to 120 eggs, depending on what kind you put in. Now, different kinds of eggs that you could put in an incubator would be any kind of bird egg. It could be a goose, or a quail, or a swan, or a duck. Or in our case, we are incubating chicken eggs. Chicken eggs take 21 days to incubate and hatch. The most important thing to successfully hatch all of your chicken eggs is the humidity level, the temperature, and turning the eggs. Now, a humidity level would be determined looking at this. So this would be attached to our incubator here, and it would tell us the level of humidity that is in the air in the incubator. The perfect or best humidity level to have it at would be anywhere from 50 to 65%. For temperature, we would use a regular thermometer to determine the temperature of the incubator. Now this should be anywhere between 99 and 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this incubator uses circulated air and the thermostat to make sure that the eggs are growing properly to hatch. And then we add water to make humidity in the air. We have to check on this multiple times a day to ensure that everything is good. And if it's not, we have to adjust it. So we can add a little bit of water or take some out for the humidity. And we can turn up or down the thermostat for our temperature, just like you would in your house. Now it also, for the turning, it has an automatic egg turner. So this turns every hour. The important reason why they have to turn is because there is an air pocket in the egg that the chicken uses to grow and breathe from. So if it's not turned, the chicken can't properly get that air pocket and therefore it won't continue to grow. What the incubator does is recreates the role that a broody hen would play in nature. So a broody hen normally would sit on her eggs. She would keep them warm and be turning them. The incubator mimics that and creates perfect stable conditions. An incubator is ideal on our farm because it gets rid of the uncertainty that you would have in nature such as predators or weather conditions or a hen that isn't properly sitting on all of her eggs. So by using our incubator, we can ensure that all of our eggs will hatch. So now we're gonna take a look at a fertilized egg and what that looks like and how we can tell it's fertilized. So here I have an egg from our farm and this egg is fertilized. The reason we know that is because we have a rooster in with our hens. Now if you go home and you crack an egg that you got from the grocery store, you'll notice it will not have the same characteristics that our egg does inside to show that it's fertilized. Many people think that if an egg has that white part on it when you crack it open, that means it's fertilized. But this is actually not true. That white part you see is called the caleza, which just holds the yolk in place. If you look closely at the egg we just cracked, you'll notice the bullseye in the center of the yolk. That is how you can tell if an egg is fertilized or not. This bullseye is the first cluster of cells, which only if incubated will become a chick. If the fertilized egg is incubated within the first 24 hours, this bullseye will grow substantially as the cells start to divide, forming a chick. However, if this egg is not incubated, nothing will happen. In this diagram, you'll see the different stages of growth during incubation. In just 21 days, it goes from being that fertile egg with only a cluster of cells to a baby chick. Pretty amazing. In each diagram, you'll notice the air pocket I mentioned, which is at the rounded end of the egg, used for giving the chick air as it grows. In just three days, you can visibly see their head, torso, brain, and beating heart developing. By day five, their eyes can be seen and their toes start forming. By day 10, they form what is called an egg tooth. This is a special tooth form just for helping them break out of their egg to hatch when they are ready. Day 19, their beak is on the shell ready to start pecking to break it open. This is also called pipping. Day 20, they start to pip. Day 21, 
they use their egg tooth to break the shell. This can take up to 18 hours to break their shell open and hatch. They get tired easy, so they often have to take naps. Now let's take a look inside at some eggs we have incubating that are ready to hatch. You'll see the brown egg in the back right corner has a crack in it and it's going to hatch. You can see that many of the chicks have hatched and they're all starting to move around in the incubator. They have to stay in here for 24 to 48 hours at a minimum to make sure they're all dried off. We also can't take one out until they're all ready to go because otherwise the temperature and the humidity level that we talked about earlier could get affected and could stop one of them from hatching correctly. So we have to make sure they're all ready before we move them. Now that all the chicks have hatched, we get to move them from the incubator to another area where they have heat lamps. These heat lamps keep them warm. They have to stay in here until they've grown big enough to go out with the other chickens. Now let's go see the natural process of incubation. We have a hen who's been sitting on her eggs and hatched them. Let's go see. We had a hen who was in our larger coop that you saw earlier and she was brooding which means that she was sitting on eggs. So we moved her over to this smaller coop so that she could properly sit on her eggs and we or the other hens wouldn't disturb her and her eggs. Now something interesting you'll note is our hen over here is called a silky and the color of the chicks that she has hatched from those eggs are different than her and that might be because she was sitting on someone else's eggs. So let's go take a look inside and uh, see what her chicks look like. So you can see here, the mom, the hen, her breed is silky and she is clearly a different color than her chicks. She is black with a different type of feathers than her yellow babies. She is also getting very protective. She's keeping her chicks behind her. Well, now we have seen how an incubator works to hatch eggs, mimicking the natural process and how a hen can naturally sit on her eggs to hatch them. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.